So we are back at Korra's Den. And this is where all the live action begins. What do you mean, huh, Ashley? What's up? Uh, Ashley, listen, the universal language will always be sex. That's how it works. Come on. Are you really surprised? Wait, are you? You know what? I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. Okay, I see a dancer up stage. Wow. This is interesting. Wait, who is she dancing with? She's dancing by herself? Okay, let me go ahead and speak to, well, Jenna first and then the general, so. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you now, do. If you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Hey, you need to leave. You your sister. Like well, Why she sent me so here. Concerned about me. I can take care of myself. Can you? Can Please you? Go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. Really? I did all that for nothing? I'm busy. The other can help you. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit the notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Commander. I'm here on Shaira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. The lies have been killing me for days. Wow, I've salty seen much? I've horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. Then why create rumors and lies about this woman? Exactly, she why? Rejected me. So? Me. Get over it, get Sentinel over it! Soraka, what? of the Turian fleet. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. Oh, wow. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Really? After all that? You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It would be more productive than sitting here. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right, I'll go to her after I've had a cold shower or two. Yuck! Say you're okay. A kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Wow, you lied. The truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well... Here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Finally, right? Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Thank you. 
I don't know if I do become a general in part two or three, but other than that, this guy just needs to wisen up. You know what I mean? I got business here, but not with you. Okay, say less. You know what? Should I do it? Okay. Okay, girl, slay or not. Okay, is is that all? The head movement, the twirls, is that really it? No, let me stop, let me leave. Excuse you, sir! Questions about Jenna. Meet me at CSEC Academy. Oh, snap, okay. What did you just say? Push off, I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers, think they can run the place. Well, well, well. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we better go find out. Well, well, well. He has some interesting gossip about, about Jenna. I wonder what it is. I'm actually pretty happy we were able to convince that general to just stop talking shit about the consort and how his rumors that he was spreading was just so salty and immature. And now I'm going to go and tell her the good news. But the thing is, I'm actually a little bit nervous because I know for a fact the whole time I'm going to talk to her, she's going to try and seduce me. Or, I don't know, talk to me. And then while she talks, just simply I fuck me the whole situation, the whole um, conversation. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. You're welcome. You're welcome. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. Mm -hmm. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. Um, I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. Really? An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. You're a fortune teller? I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. I mean, that's what Nepodermus does. What kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. What? You alone survived. What? You will continue to survive. How you know this? This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. I'm just glad she wasn't rubbing herself on Remember me this time words, around. Commander they will give you strength. But she does have a point. Words do have power. And just like a mantra, if you keep on saying them, you will believe it enough. That's why whenever I'm with my girl and she gets sad, I tell her all the good things I like about her. Just so she can feel good about herself again. Just so she can actually feel empowered in a way. It's good to, re to be reminded of all the good things you've done. It's also good to have positive affirmations. Because in all honesty, with so much negativity in the world, the last thing you need is to suck that negativity. Suck that same negativity into your own personal world. Because, you know what? No one needs that. No one needs that bad energy, am I right? We are at C-Sec Academy. And, well, I'm, I'm pretty curious to see what this guy has in store for me. It seemed like he had a lot of important information concerning with Jenny. So, I'm gonna go and check it out. See what's up. See what type of information he has you're not it one sec looking you up oh do i have a profile like i actually have a profile commander shepherd here with the alliance military first time on the citadel that about right how do you know who i am i'm the csec requisitions officer i need to make sure our buyers are authorized so Will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Oh, okay. I think I'll be going. Sure thing, Commander. 
You have a good day now. That's why he knows me, because he wants to make sure if I actually need supplies, he already has, like, stuff for me to buy. So I'm kind of like a clientele in a way, so it makes sense. I'm at CSEC Academy, and there are two people I need to speak with, but the first one I need to see is Jaheed. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorban? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Yeah, punk. Lying? Yes. Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? Of course he did. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I almost killed him because of you. I was afraid Shorban would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. What a pig. What a pig. But you know what? I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorban, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? Uh, why are you surprised? Well, if you say so. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, if Shorban can forgive and forget, then so can I. Good. I'm glad I you're, you're made up. Better. I better go get that data analyzed. Perfect. You see? Oh, he dipped! How the hell did he dip so fast? What? You know what? Never mind. I gotta go see this other guy. Ah, so this is well. Detective? Detective? That's who I bumped into at the strip club? A detective? No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. I know Always it. thinking ahead, detective. It's part of the job. Now are you going to help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. Okay. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. Ah, uh, so he doesn't want the weapon to be sold to the black market because then it'll fall into the wrong hands and blah, 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 blah. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. What? I'll tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Uh... Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Thank Good you. Luck, Commander. Of course. And being that I'm just a nice little tall redhead and sexy, it definitely won't tip them off at all. Okay, so I don't know exactly who I'm going to see. Clerk Bosker? What's this one? My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Yes, Your I am. Your made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Oh, this mission. Uh, okay, okay. Mr. Batya. Yes. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. You wish? Why, why can't you? Sir, Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. What do you the mean, valuable? The may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. So she's a test dummy? Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. So she's a test dummy. That's why this man has yet to receive his wife's body. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. A year? A year? You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? 
Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. As if she's a lab rat. I am so livid right now. When will now. this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Dude! The reason why this man hasn't received his wife's body is because she's being tested like a science experiment. I would have fought. I would have fought this government. I swear. This is disgusting. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. Exactly, that was just pig. The reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. Whatever. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Whatever, man. You suck. Oh, man. I feel so sorry for what I'm about to tell this guy. Hey, so the reason why you don't have access to getting your wife's body back is because she's a science experiment. Hello, Commander. Yes. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. Okay. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. Where can I find this Mr. Bosker? He was in the expensive bar over there. Oh, I already talked to him. Okay, so... They're running medical studies on Nerali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? Yes. They're holding my wife's body for tests? I know, I... My I, wife I... served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. I'm just as angry as you are. Trust me. It is unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. I mean, dude, what do you want me to do? It's like the running test. It's going to be for a year. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Yes, you told me as much. I don't care what the military wants for her. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. It is unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. What can I do? I mean, the guy said so himself. It's going to be a year plus to fully finish these tests. So unless we're able to replace the body with another one, what can I really do, exactly? Ooh. Let me understand what you're saying. But these allegations are very serious. I can... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consul in confidence at her home, and she betrayed that confidence. All right. I will look into it. For you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Hello there, human. Hi. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? It was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. She's innocent, bro. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man. And it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Anytime. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Damn! He has Thanks dummy thick steps. 
That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. Wait. Sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Do not listen to my volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Well, thank you for the compliment. And who are you, geezer? Talking Earth all Clan, that you are junk. In the wrong place, I Excuse think. me? Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Den. That's right, you tell him! At tell him! Introduce yourself. Yeah, Den, introduce yourself. I am Din Korlak. Hi, Din, you suck. Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? You know what? Just for that. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. Yeah, what's good? You got beef? You humans are what? new to the Citadel. You the humans? Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> you Just humans? Rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Bolus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. So he's just salty that we have the most rights in such a short amount of time compared to other species. Like, get over yourself. You're like, what, the second, third person who has beef? As if it's my fault? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door. In his own office. Yeah, I know. I met him before. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. And who's interrupting you, my boy? Not me. Like, wow. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. No, it's not, because I'm asking the questions, Din. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. Yeah, spit it out. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. Hmm. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. That's why he's salty. All the work that they have done, and yet they still get breadcrumbs, and not even a pat on the shoulder. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Mm. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. Ooh. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Wow, those are some fighting words right there. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. Okay, All but you... but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Did you see him pointing at me? Nah, fam. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. Dude, it's not my fault. So stop taking out- You know what, I'm not even gonna take it personally. Your self-projection is so heavy that you- I feel like you need to go get some therapy. Get some Goodbye, help. Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Oh, he is so salty. He's greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. And it's good to see I you too. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly. We discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. 
Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Yo, Din, we're about to fight right now. We're about to fight, Din. I truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Oh, you hear that? He feels sorry for you, Din. Oh. Tell me more about your species. He's Can he you says you're pathetic. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Hell yeah, I want to hear about your history, bro. The history and origins of Cause, the Cause you're so nice. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council's space when the Asari first made contact with us. Oh wow. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. That's... that's so awesome. I'm actually pretty happy for you guys. That is so... interesting. No, 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 no! Oh! Ah! Oh, oh, we have to repeat this all over again! Wait. Proudly. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. So you're like a representative. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. Shut up, the Den! The doesn't care about our races. Yes, they do, Den! Rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate. That's here. right, you tell him. You tell him. Human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Thank you. That is what you know what? You're invited to the barbecue. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Thank you. At least someone is respectful, unlike this dingy ass. Musty ass, crusty ass, dusty ass den. Okay, clerk, I know we talked about this, but Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? Listen. You've got no legal right to keep the body, and I know you don't want this to go public. Give him the body right now. The military has made its choice, and it believes that gaining new technology is worth inconveniencing people like Mr. Batia. Studying Nurali Bhatia's body could save the lives of countless soldiers. I can't release her. Come on, are you serious? Come on, man. Are you serious? For your help. No, I'm gonna do it Hello again. again. Commander. Can I help you? I'd like you to reconsider releasing Nurali Bhatia's body. I'm asking nicely. I'm sorry, the needs of the living outweigh the needs of the dead. Studying Nurali Bhatia's body could save the lives of countless soldiers. I can't release her. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Dude, come on! Just... You've got no legal right to keep the body, and I know... I don't know what to, to do. The military has made... Studying Nurali Bhatia's body could save the lives of countless soldiers. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help him. Thanks for your help. They're very keen on keeping the body. How, what am I supposed to tell the man? What am I supposed to do? Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.